subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos. Hey what's up YouTube this is Wase here and today in this video I am going to tell you about the solution of a problem that many programmers face when they are using Xcode and they are using the simulator. So most of the people face the problem that when they run the simulator on Xcode the simulator is not running. In most cases all you need to do is to close the simulator as well as the Xcode and restart your PC and everything works fine. But in some cases it does not work and you have a message box saying Springboard quit it unexpectedly. So this kind of message most probably most probably occurs to those persons who are using Mac OS on virtual machine meaning that they are using virtual box and they are using Xcode on the Mac OS virtually. So that's the same case that I face this problem and I'm going to show you how you can solve this problem if you're using your Xcode on Mac OS on virtual box. Anyways, let's start the video. So you might expect the problem of spring uh, springboard quit unexpectedly when you run the simulator on your Xcode on the virtual machine. So let me just run it for once to show you. Um, you're not going to see the problem in my case because I have already you can say solved it. So I'm just going to tell you the steps how you can solve it as well. So let me just show you. Here you can see the simulator is turning on. In your case the problem will be that that the simulator does turn on and you will most probably see the loading bar as well. But once the loading bar is complete the simulator will close and X, uh, X code will show you the error message that springboard quit unexpectedly. So in my case you can see once I solved the problem everything is working a okay and my app is running as well. It's quite a little slow because uh, you know I'm using a virtual machine and also I'm using the screen recorder software as well. So that's why you're seeing it to you know delay a little bit. And here you can see the app has run successfully and I didn't get any kind of error or crashes like in other cases the app could stop working or Xcode and vice versa. So now let's move towards the solution how you can uh, you know solve the problem if you are facing it because I couldn't find anywhere on the internet so I thought why don't I make a video on that. So first of all I am just going to stop it from running on the simulator. I am going to quit Xcode make sure that you save your work. I am going to quit the, simu uh, quit the simulator as well. Now I should uh, I have told you before I am telling you th again that this solution is for those who are using Xcode or Mac OS on virtual box that is a virtual machine because most probably this error occurs on the virtual machine. So the first thing is you have to do is you are going to press on file of your virtual machine. You are going to press on close and you need to make sure that power of the machine option is selected instead of the save the machine state. So you are going to press on ok so that it can power off the machine. So once it has powered off the machine here is my machine name Mac OS Catalina and you can see it's powered off. It is very important that you power off the machine otherwise the fix will not work. And this is only a one time process once you have made the fix then it does not matter whether you power off the machine or not. So I am not going to close it now you are going to download a text document which contains the actual code. So I will put the download link for this code in the video's description so you can go there and download this code because this code will be used to resolve the error. Anyways you are going to press on edit on your text file editor you are going to press on replace. So find what your VM name here you can see so it's going to find that and replace with. So in replace with you are going to enter the machine name on whichever you are going to face the error. So I am going to press on settings simply I am going to press on it and I am going to select it all I am going to copy it. Then I am going to here on replace with I am going to simply paste the name and, and I am going to press on replace so all. Make sure that you enter your virtual machine name because in my case I have uh, 
given the name this mac os catalina your may be different so make sure you type in the right machine name otherwise it won't work and you also need to make sure that you have installed virtual box on the default location so now here you're just going to exit it here on the windows search you're going to type cmd command prompt you're going to right click on it and you're going to run it as an administrator now it is very important that you run it as an ad administrator so have you you have the privileges to access it otherwise you can open command prompt but it will not work so now the process is quite simple you have total of three lines you're going to copy it from here you're going to paste here you're going to press on enter then again you're going to copy the second line paste it and the third line as well you saw it took some processing time as well and after that you're just simply going to press on exit oh sorry exit and you're done so once done you don't have to do anything now you're just going to simply open virtual box open macOS catalina xcode and once you run the simulator hopefully you will not face the problem and your problem will be solved successfully as it worked for me quite well and that's all for this video if you guys like this video please give this video a thumbs up if you have any questions regarding this video write them in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so i have made other videos regarding these kind of niche as well like how you can install mac os catalina or enter full screen mode on virtualbox etc anyways guys thank you for watching and stay safe